Tonight, major changes announced for the city of Trustville and the way new hires are handled. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us at 10. I'm Sherry Falk. I'm Guy Rawlings. The Trustville City Council voting tonight to leave the Jefferson County Personnel Board. Leaders say a big part of this decision has to do with public safety and how fast Trustville is growing. WVTM 13's Jarvis Robertson was at tonight's meeting and he joins us now live with what's next for the area. Yeah, Sherry and Guy. Now, the Trustful City Council, they voted unanimously in favor to leave the Jefferson County Personnel Board. Tonight, the mayor told me a big part of that was because of public safety and job recruitment. It was a long time coming. Uh, we tried to uh, do it uh, several different ways. A process that started back in 2019, but was initially denied. Trustful City Council has voted to opt out of the Jefferson County Personnel Board. Where we felt like some of the needs that we needed, uh, we were not being able to get what we needed as we needed them. And uh, no, no reflection on them because the personnel board has worked with us hand in hand on a lot of things that we needed during this process. State lawmakers passed House Bill 471 this year, which allows any municipality with a population of 25,000 or more to make such decision. Tuesday night, the mayor says public safety was a big part of the reason for this vote, especially when it comes to hiring the best or most qualified candidate for a job and simply being competitive. There's other cities around that had an advantage on us based on salaries and, and uh, the list that people had to get on to be uh, selected. I asked Mayor Choate what made the process less competitive. The salary range and the job descriptions were all set through the personnel board, so we all operated under that. Trustful will have to create a civil service system now that the ordinance has been voted in favor. The next step will be for the city to inform the Jefferson County Personnel Board. This will go into effect October 1, so we'll notify them effective October 1. Now, I did reach out to the Jefferson County Personnel Board tonight, and I am waiting on a response for a comment. In the meantime, House Bill 471, it does make the city or any municipal municipalities for that point uh, make a policy that explicitly prohibits the appointment, promotion, demotion, or dismissal of an employee as favors, and it also prohibits discrimination. Now, although the vote was unanimous tonight, it's going to take six months from October 1st before this transition is completed. Reporting live in Birmingham tonight, I'm Jarvis Robertson, WVTM 13.